It has been a massive day here at Sunrise after eight weeks of working out with Mel Gibson's personal trainer, Samantha Jackson. Three deserving blokes have ditched their dad bobs and they are with us live at Brecky Central for the moment. We've all been waiting for the big reveal. It is time to finally show off their jaw-dropping <laughs> transformations and see firsthand just how far they've come. James, Graham and David have committed themselves 110% to the program and we couldn't be more proud. So let's take a look at our first transformation. James Nielsen from Queensland began working on his dad bod during his partner Kelly pregnancy. But in just eight weeks he's transformed his body and his entire life. James has three great loves. Kelly, Jordan and Victoria. Bitter, that is. Beer. 120% beer. Yeah. Why do you like beer so much? Have you tried it? <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't just his love of beer that saw him tip the scales at 115 kilos. When Kelly fell pregnant, he was the one eating for two. I was eating like three pregnant women, to be completely honest. James was tested during Samantha Jackson's eight-week challenge, so he got creative and attached a VB sticker to his protein shakes. Ooh, fishies. And VB. But for James and his family, this journey has been about much more than giving up beer. We have been trying to have baby number two for about seven months now, and it hasn't happened, and we have had a loss between that time. And it's been really hard after having Jordan, having postnatal depression, our health just kind of went downhill. And that's probably the, the biggest thing to me, that's why we haven't fallen pregnant. And that's all the motivation James needed. Kel did pretty much the whole thing with me and she stopped drinking as well, which was a big help. Life for this young family is only going to get better. It's the best thing that we've done and it has changed, definitely changed our lives. And we're both healthier. Please welcome James! Unbelievable that transformation. Is, uh, James, come back here and join us. Congratulations. Now, eight weeks ago, you were the heaviest you'd ever been. Mm. You tipped the scales at 115 kilos thanks yep. to a diet of VB and self-sourcing pudding. <laughs> that will do it. <laughs> Today, James is down to 97 kilos. That is a total of 18 oh, kilos lost. <laughs> and most importantly, you've, you've shared a whopping 17 centimetres off your waist. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Like, be able to fit back in the clothes is pretty good. Yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah. So what are, what's your waist size dropped down from? Um, I was a 38, a right. tight 38. Now I'm a 34, 36, depending on, My goodness. on what. Yeah, it's pretty that impressive. Is, that is like four notches on your belt. Yeah. Are you going to crack a BB after this? Mate, I'm definitely going to crack a BB. Oh. <laughs> Don't undo all your good It's moderation, eh? <laughs> No, you've done a fantastic job. It's been tough. Um, let's check in with Eddie. She's with James's partner, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, Hi. is it getting hot in here or is oh, your husband is, gorgeous? Is, he's on fire. <laughs> he's, he's looking really, really good. On the emotional side of things, you yeah. potentially thought that, that James's weight was affecting you from having a second child. You've got beautiful right. Jordan next to you there. How do you yeah. feel about that now? Oh, you know, like we both put on a lot of weight. So for both of us to go through this transformation together and be supportive, James, you know, now we can grow our family again. You know, we can make healthier decisions and yeah, it's just, it's changed our lives. We're really, really excited. Not that there's anything wrong with eating like a pregnant lady, I must say. Oh, no, at all. Yeah. I, en I enjoyed it a lot. I did enjoy it. Well, it's a well deserved VB, James. Well done. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, the woman who made it all happen for these men is trainer to the stars, Mel Gibson in particular, is Samantha Jackson. Nice. Samantha, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, How James fantastic. is incredible. What, oh, was, yeah. what was the biggest hurdle? You had to overcome with jumps. Oh, definitely the VB. Yeah. Definitely. 
But and, and James kept sending me texts of the photos of pubs going, I'm walking past, but I'm not going in. And, <laughs> Good <laughs> but no. boy. It is difficult. He it did is difficult. really, really well. And yeah, just getting the, the head around exercise. James is a busy guy, so getting that exercise in as well was really tough for him. Yeah. Yeah. But he was so committed. Like one day he climbed 16 flights of stairs mm. and still got his exercise done. Yeah, James. fantastic. So, yeah. Well done, yeah. mate. It was brilliant. Congratulations. All Cheers, right. guys. All right, life for our next dad, Graham, and his wife, Casey, hasn't been easy. But together, they've conquered every obstacle that's come their way, and this gruelling eight-week challenge was no exception. This is his story. Graham Brooks is a graphic designer and proud dad of three from Newcastle. Eight weeks ago, he weighed 110 kilos. I just stagnate. I don't lose weight. I don't really put weight on. Um, but it'd be good to get an understanding of that. And obviously, I'd love to lose some weight to be healthier and fitter. His weight, confidence and energy spiralled after his family was hit with a devastating blow, the loss of their baby. Everything changed that day. It was hard to get through when you feel so miserable and you've lost... We lost a part of us, sorry. We did. Life becomes hectic. You can make excuses for it or you can do something about it. And that's exactly what he did. He's just so happy with himself and the size that he is. He's excited to get up in the morning and go exercising. For Graham, this journey has always been about one thing. My kids, my wife, um, my wife did all the cooking, which was obviously very helpful. Um, and just the energy I got from exercise was, was amazing. Darling, don't. We've just been through so much and it's felt for a long time that good stuff doesn't happen to us and this has just been so amazing, such a huge opportunity, once in a lifetime and a huge adventure which I don't think we go on adventures as much anymore. Graham, come on out! Graham, come on over, let's have a closer look. Walk, walk the catwalk for us, Graham. Look at you! Oh, Woo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look Graham, at that. Ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is incredible. In eight weeks, that's amazing. I know it's been a tough eight weeks, but let's take a look at the results. You were 110 kilos yep. when the program began, but the burpees and push-ups have paid off. Today, you weigh in at 96 kilos, a loss of 14 kilos, and you've dropped 16 centimetres from your waistline. Yeah, it's been a big change. Oh, my goodness. What was the hardest part of the adjustment? Uh, for me, it was just getting going with the exercise. Um, I haven't done it for over 10 years, so getting into that and doing the actual exercise was the hardest for me. Oh. Yeah. Um, food was fine, but yeah, just getting moving again um, and not feeling the pain, that was the biggest hurdle for me to get through. Look at you, I'm looking at you here, your skin is glowing, your eyes are bright, you are a new man. Yeah. Do you feel like a new man? Oh, I feel great. So much more energy. The spray tan obviously helped. But, um, <laughs> Apart, apart from that, no, it's, it's, it's great. Feel, feel awesome. You, oh. you should. You look yes, awesome. Fantastic. You're gorgeous. You deserve it. Uh, let's check in with Eddie, who's in the audience with Graham's wife, Casey. And the whole family, Sam and Kosh, including gorgeous little Liam here. Casey, you've had such an enormous year. You lost your mum. You've been dealing with chronic illness as well. What has the last eight weeks been like for you two? It's been amazing just watching the family come back together. It's been tough, it hasn't been easy, um, but we've enjoyed it. We've really loved it and all the family time now. We exercise as a family, we cook as a family, we do it all together, it's great. Well, it's going to be a very different Father's Day, I know, for yeah. you guys this weekend. Thank you so much for coming in. What a chance. I love the lumbar sexual look too. I know. Oh, yeah, I like Isn't it hot? And oh Sam, the trainer's back with us. What did you do with this man? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, he did exactly as I asked him to, which was fabulous. And even down to Graham travelled for work 
and took exercise equipment with him, was working like 14, 15 hour days, still got his exercise done while he was away and organised meals for himself as well. So I just can't praise these guys highly mm. enough. Mm. I'm getting really emotional <laughs> over this. It's <laughs> done really right, well. Right mental attitude. That's oh, a real curve. No That's excuses. Good, Good on excuses. you. Good on you. Uh, time now to reveal our final dad's makeover. David Rundall was once an athlete, but like many fathers, he found he was putting himself and his health last. However, his wife Maria has always been his biggest supporter and never lost faith that David would get back to his former glory. Like most Aussie families with three kids, life in the Rundell household can be chaotic. There's so many jobs to get through in a day. Which one do you want to do? <laughs> Just get and... through it. But their schedule, which is executed with military precision, was flipped upside down when their son Cooper was diagnosed with cancer. Burkitt's leukaemia, um, whilst it's a rare childhood cancer, it doubles every 24 hours. So my experience and my reference point was that he was going to die. Thankfully, Cooper has made a full recovery, but four months by his son's hospital bed meant David's weight ballooned to 90 kilos. When I was there, you couldn't leave the bed, so a lot of the food that we ate in that time was very, uh, wasn't the best food. Finding time for himself has been David's biggest challenge over the past eight weeks. Most of it was done at uh, nine o'clock at night, all our exercise, so it was uh, get the kids to bed, get them settled and then go off to the gym. None of it would be possible without his wife Maria. You protect things that, that you love, so I mean I give myself to everything I do, whether it's a sport or a job or my family, and I protect those things because I love them. With Maria behind him all the way, David is now unrecognisable. I knew he could do it. I married a strong man. Um, he just had to dig a little bit deeper. And even just in the last few days since they've buffed him up, he's like a Ferrari, you know? It's just completely amazing. He's a Maserati. Oh, he's trying to make the stadium himself, <laughs> the brand new David. David. Thank you. Do the catwalk for us, please, David. <laughs> Look You're at funny. you. <laughs> this is amazing. Mate, I thought we had an imposter. <laughs> you, Maria's right. You are a Ferrari. Um, you've gone above and beyond to commit to Sam's program. When we began, you weighed over 90 kilos. Yep. Since completing the eight-week challenge, you've lost almost 12 kilos. You now weigh in at 78 yep. kilos. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, look at those abs. Uh, you've dropped 16 centimetres from your waist and you can now fit into a size 30 to 32 pants. Yeah, I do. How fabulous. That's great. <laughs> I'm back to 22-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like that? I do. I've got a big incentive. I've got a 40th anniversary for my uh, premiership year in uh, Melbourne. And I've, right. I had to fit into my football jumper, and I do fit it now. Wow. <laughs> How does it change your life? Um, what have you noticed? I think just the health. I've got more energy. Um, I never thought I'd get fit again. I've had two hip replacements. So uh, it was, that was always a struggle to think I could ever get fit again. And uh, Sam showed me the way to do it. Yeah. And I have got right. fit again. Isn't it fantastic? Oh, <laughs> look, Eddie is with uh, David's very proud wife, Maria, who's all gone glassy-eyed and gooey over this. <laughs> oh, Sam and Koshi, this has affected not only David's weight, but also his health. Tell us about the medication he's planning to get off now. Yeah, so a little a while ago David went on to um, high blood pressure medication which is very scary for someone in, the, in his early 60s um, but since he's reduced his weight we've been able to cut his medication his uh, blood pressure pressure medication in half and he's under medical review and we're hoping to get him off that medication altogether. Wow. How transformative has this been for your entire family? I know Emily said he's lost his cupcake belly. <laughs> yes, yes he has. Look I just feel happy for David because he's struggled and as as he said he's had a thyroid out and he's had his hips replaced and he just and he wasn't a um, an athlete in his youth um, and so for him it's been very frustrating and hard so this is just 
a fantastic Father's Day present for You're going to take the Ferrari out for a test drive this weekend, Erin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, We've already oh, test driven oh, oh, <laughs> 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 Careful, Andy, the kids are around. Uh, Samantha is back with us. Samantha, uh, obviously uh, an athlete in his part. How, how handy was that? to get him back to those days, that routine of training. It was so easy with David because he was just 100% focused right from the word go. He knew what he needed to do, he was committed, and he just leapt all in and, and did it. And nine o'clock at night at the gym, mm. like, who does that? That's an extraordinary yeah. commitment. Yeah. Sam, you've done a brilliant job. Thank you for all your it's hard work. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. And look, a big congratulations to all three of our dads, James, Graham and David's hard work over the past eight weeks of really paid off. The boys have lost a combined total of 43 and a half kilos which is an incredible result. A very special thanks to all the people who made it possible. Our friends at MJ Bale for kidding out the boys. They do look so smart. Adila Barbers in Double Bay for the shave and the haircuts. Melissa Young Beauty had the big task of beautifying the boys. <laughs> and, and the waxing. The waxing and the spray tabs. And they might never forgive us for that. And thanks as well to the tea rooms at QVB for making their wives feel so special too. But most of all, thanks to Samantha Jackson who transformed their lives. Now, if you want to sign up to her program, just head to the Sunrise website. The guys look fantastic. Ladies, how about you come over and check out your new men? Come on over. Come on over, don't be shy. Congratulations.